Hi everyone, Leah here from EurekaCrystalBeads.com with another helpful beading video for you. Before I get started, just a quick reminder to go check out the rest of our channel. And if you like what you see, hit the subscribe button and notification bell and you'll always know when we're posting new content. Today's project is a crystal beaded bobby pin. Now these are great for people of all ages when you want a little bit of extra sparkle in your day, but these are particularly fun for bridal parties. So if you happen to focus a lot of your jewelry on doing work for bridal parties or brides, these are really, really stunning in their hair and they're super easy to make. So all we need are 10 four millimeter Swarovski crystal bicones, a simple old bobby pin, and we're going to be using some 26 gauge wire. So this is 26 gauge non-tarnish silver colored craft wire. You can certainly use 26 gauge sterling silver wire if you'd like. All we're gonna do is take our bobby pin here and we're gonna start at the end that is the curve. So we're not starting at the end, that's the opening. And we're going to be laying our beads down along the flat end of the bobby pin here. Now I have about a foot worth of wire here, just so you'll have an idea of how much we have left. And it's always good to work with a little bit more than you think you need because you wanna have plenty to hold to make it comfortable to work with. So you can see I have a little bit of wire sticking out of the side. That's gonna give me something to hold on to. And I'm gonna to start to wrap my wire a few times, nice and tightly around my bobby pin in this area. And what's nice is that if it doesn't look perfect, I'm gonna show you some tricks to make it look perfect and to clean it up. So I simply head my head by bringing my wire right into that opening. So that way I can start my next round, just like this. Then bring this through again, so we can wrap again, nice and tight. And then one more time, I like to have at least three good wraps, just like that. Okay. Now I'll just go through one more time just so that way I'm coming up from underneath. And I'm not going to cut this off quite yet. I'm gonna leave it there because again, it's gonna make it easier for me to hold on to all of this and it's gonna keep this wire from wanting to spin on the bobby pin. So all I'm gonna do is go right down to my crystals with my wire and I'm gonna pick up a crystal. I find it easiest to do it that way. I'm gonna bring the crystal right down onto the top of the bobby pin. And I'm gonna lay it down at a little bit of an angle. So they're all gonna sort of sit at a nice little angle like this. And we just bring our wire in between the bobby pin again, wrap it underneath and back up. This secures our little crystal into place. I'm gonna pick up another crystal, bring it down. You're gonna lay it along the top of the bobby pin in the same angle as the first crystal. Bring your wire in between the bobby pin underneath and back up. So I'll show you that another time. Pick up your crystal. Lay it along the top of your pin in the same angle as the previous ones. Go in between your pin with the, with the wire underneath and back up. As you can see, they start to all lay nicely right next to each other. So I'm just gonna keep going with this and I'll be back in a second with them completed. Okay, as you can see, I have nine of my crystals wired onto my bobby pin and I'm sure you can see how incredibly sparkly that looks. This really does look stunning in anyone's hair of any age. So I'm about to add on the last crystal and I'm gonna show you how we finish it up. So that Last crystal is gonna slide down there. I'm going to let it sit right next to all of the other crystals. And you can see how they're all sitting at that same angle. And now when we go to wrap, we're just gonna wrap a few extra times. And you wanna really utilize your thumb and forefinger to guide that wire into place. You can see my thumb really helps to keep things tight. And then I use my forefinger here to really guide the wire down into place. You wanna wrap about three times, just like this. Now, a really important thing to remember with these bobby pins or anytime you're doing hair accessories is it's really important to make sure that when you're clipping your wire off, you really finish it up nice and neatly. You don't want to have any little bits of wire sticking off because that's going to snag in someone's hair. So I've gone ahead and used my wire cutter here to trim that down. And I'm going to use my chain nose pliers to gently tuck that 
little edge in. And you don't want to feel it be sharp or scratchy because again, that could snag on someone's hair. Now to go back to the beginning where maybe your wraps weren't absolutely perfect, we can scrunch them a little bit. You can use your chain nose pliers and you can scrunch them together. Mine weren't too, too bad. And then this part here, we're just going to be trimming off. Very, very easy. And now you can see there's that little bit left that we want to tuck in so we have no sharp edges sticking out. And that's it. So I have another one here that I did with fuchsia double AB and this one is turquoise double AB. You can make these in any color of the rainbow. They're super fast to whip up. They're great little gift ideas. Great for any age level. If you have uh, someone you know going to prom or you know a granddaughter that just wanna, wants to look a little extra sparkly or you want to just look a little extra sparkly. These are really great and they're really fast and inexpensive to make. Okay, folks, that wraps it up. Thanks for watching. Make sure to visit us on, on over at EurekaCrystalBeads.com for all the materials used in this video. And hopefully we can satisfy all of your beading and jewelry needs as well. Bye.